Hi friends. Today we are going to talk about the smart watches. So we all love the wonderful features we have in our smart watches. We use them for workout or simply to track time. Guys, I really like the fact that you have lot of watch faces to choose from. So this is something I really look forward in a smart watch. You don't get bored easily. You can go ahead and change the watch face whenever you like and you can go ahead and choose the watch face and get a new look every time that you want that is all good but there is one thing we dread the most in any smart watch and yes you are right that is the battery life typical smart watches do not run for more than a day and they need a recharge almost daily that is a very big deal breaker for many of you and that is the reason why they are not becoming very popular this is high time that we all did something about it right we can actually change the way the smart watches consume the battery by using some tricks that i'll discuss in a while so let's get started so we all like the always on time feature the time is always visible so if i tilt the wrist i can go ahead and see the time so all these features are very good but they consume a lot of battery so the always on time feature and the way the time displays when you do your wrist movement or till the wrist this all consumes battery but the main culprit is the time when you are actually not trying to see the time but due to our wrist movements this feature turns on the watch automatically so by your hand movements you know you are just going in a car or opening the door or you're washing your hand you're doing any any movements that involves hand movements will go ahead and switch on the time and that is something which consumes battery heavily then we have to pay the price for all these features by short battery life on our smart watch the smart watch that i have here is michael kor access the model is bradshaw but these tricks will work with any smart watch as such and it will work even for fitness bands now let's talk about the solution so let's go to the settings and once i go to the settings go to display now in display you can go ahead and adjust the brightness mine is set to 5 because i'm outdoors shooting this video but for real time purposes you will have to set it to 1 or set it to 3 or something so that way it will work not at the maximum brightness but somewhere in between or the least one which is comfortable for you then you can go ahead and go to something called always on screen so if i click on this it is switching off the always on screen and if i try to switch it back it will show you that always on screen reduces battery life so don't turn it on guys you need to turn this off and once that is done go ahead and again go to something called gestures let's go to gestures and here it says till to wake so we'll disable that and then let's switch to wake remain so when we touch it should wake up go ahead and disable the wrist gestures and once your wrist gestures are disabled well that's it so there is a small inconvenience in which you do not have your always display time on your smart watch and it doesn't look very cool if you can't tilt your wrist and simply see the time sides this trade off the choice is yours you want more battery life or these features thank you for watching my video and for more such useful videos do stay tuned